I couldn't agree more, comrade. Hey, Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. And proceed to social control. Repeat. Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> let's go find it. Canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific. Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors.
Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Oh shit, those cellas again. There they are. Now we need to get up to the ceiling. That's more like it. that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Oh shit. Those cellas again. Comrades, experimental data must be kept secure at all times.
filled in one day. We just need to speed up the last motor. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. That's better. Pleasant lights all around, chelas buzzing in the distance. How romantic. get down first. to the elevators. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. Saving data. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me and I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Repeat, 
If you have an appointment, please contact the test Lumino polymer canister connected. The tree, it's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun.